3. A bakery bakes 3 types of bread with, with the monthly cost being 6850. This is the monthly cost and this is the total loaves being sold. The cost of baking a loaf of a butterscotch bread. So we have 3 types of bread. So butterscotch is 2 ringgit, chocolate is 3 ringgit and coconut bread is 4 ringgit. So we have 3 types of bread. It will be easier for us to calculate if we just give any unknown to this 3 bread. You can use any unknown actually but I'm using X, Y, Z. So X is for the X is for the first one is the butterscotch. You don't really need to declare but just to let you know. X is for the butterscotch and then chocolate. Y is for the chocolate and Z is for the coconut bread. So here we have the price for each bread and we know that we have uh, total number of bread is 2150 basically x plus y plus z is equal to 2150 and this one is the cost so you have to multiply uh, the cost of each type of bread multiply with the number of it being sold to get this one so but the scotch is 2 ringgit 2x plus chocolate is 3 ringgit 3y Coconut is 4 ringgit, 4 Z is equal to 6850. Okay, to solve this one with 3 equations, you must have 3 equations. We only have 2, so you have to continue reading the equations. Okay. Okay, this one is the total cost, right? 6850. And then the sale price. The sale price of love, butter, scotch bread, and chocolate bread, and coconut are. This one is the selling price make sure that the equation here butterscotch first for x and then chocolate and then coconut if the bakery must make profit of this one this is the profit that they wanted to have how many loaves of each type the bread we have this is the selling cost okay how to get profit from selling cost so profit is basically selling price minus cost price if you want to get profit of 2975 so selling price minus cost price you see here selling price here for the butterscotch is 3 ringgit and the cost of it is 2 ringgit. So therefore, 3 minus 2 is x. Okay. And then 4.5 minus 3. Selling price of chocolate, 4.5 ringgit minus 3 ringgit. We get 1.5y. And then 5.5 minus 4, we get 1.5. Set. This equation. Second equation. And then the equation. So first, you see 1 and 3 both got x, so I want to eliminate x. Okay, x plus y plus z is equal to 2150. And then this one is x plus 1.5y plus 1.5z is equal to 2975. I want to eliminate x. So here, positive, positive. To eliminate x, it must be x minus x, right? Okay, and here you can minus from below minus upper or upper minus below. But I want to minus below minus upper because I want my y to be positive. 1.5 minus y, I get 0.5y. 1.5 minus z, I get 1.0.5 z is equal to 2975 minus 2975 minus 2150. 8 to 5. So get 8 to 5. This one is equation 4. So here you eliminate x. So you must do another equation where you can eliminate x. 1 and 3 is done. You can either do 1 and 2. Okay, because this one is x. This one is 2x. Okay, 1 and 2 also can. 3 and 2 also can. And it's true. But then I will choose the easiest one. 1 and 2. This one is this one is 3 minus 1, right? 3 minus 1. And then I want to do 1 and 2. It will be 2 minus 1. 
okay 2 minus 1 here we have 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 6850 this one we have x plus y plus z is equal to 2150 to eliminate x you must have the same coefficient of x this one is 2x this one is just x 2x minus x you will still have value we want to eliminate x so what we do is this multiplying by 2 so we will have 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 6850 and here x times 2 will be 2x plus 3y Sorry, plus y times 2, we get 2y. z times 2, we get 2z. 2150 times 2, we get 4300. Then we can eliminate. You can either minus upper minus the lower one or lower one minus the upper one. But I want to minus up minus below because I want to get uh, positive for y and z. 3y minus 2y, we get y. 4z minus 2z, we get 2z. And 6850 minus 4300, we get 2550. This one is equation 5. Four and 5, you see, we have y and z. You can eliminate y. So, for here, you have 0.5y plus 0.5z is equal to 8 to 5. As you can see, this one is y plus 2z. I want to do elimination method. This one is 0 0.5 and this one is 1. So you have to multiply with 2 to get 1. Here, 0 0.5 times 2, you get y, 1y. You don't have to write 1. 0 0.5 times 2, you get 1z is equal to 8 to 5 times 2, you get 1650. 1650. And then here, y plus 2z is equal to 2550. Okay. And then to eliminate y, y minus y get 0. 2z minus z is z. 2550 minus 1650. 2550 minus 1650. So here we get 900. z is equal to 900. From 5, y plus 2z is equal to 2550. y plus 2z is 900 is equal to 2550. y is equal to 2550. So we bring to the other side. 2 times two time 900. Okay, just write it. 2550 minus 1800. So here we get. 2550 minus 1800 750 so here 750 here okay we have z is equal to 900 y is equal to 750 You can just take any equation from 1 to 3 to get the value of x. Of course, take the simplest one, which is number 1. x plus y plus z is equal to 2150. x is equal to 2150 minus y minus z, which is equal to 2150 minus y is equal to 750. z is equal to 900. So here you will get. Two one five zero minus seven fifty minus nine hundred five hundred. Therefore, here x is equal to five hundred. How many loaves of each bread it will make? Just now, x is equal to five hundred y is equal to 750 and z is equal to 900. Therefore, we can say butterscotch. Butterscotch 
is 500 chocolate is 750 and lastly is coconut is 900 